Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. My guest today flew in from Jackson, Mississippi to bless us with her powerful story. So go grab your cup of coffee and join us as I sit with Pastor Tanya Ware. You're amazing. Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Pastor Tanya Ware has a testimony that the world needs to hear. When I saw her speak about it in another interview, my heart stopped. She is a speaker, author, certified success coach, and musician. Woo, God has truly been good to you. Yes. <laughs> Welcome Thank to you the so much. show. I'm so happy to be here with you. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh and we're twinning today with the black I and yellow. I know. Black <laughs> and gold. Yes. Okay, so tell um, our viewers is Pastor Tanya Ware? Well, I'm one of 10 children. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Born to parents that were, were church planters. Uh -huh. And so they started ministries just around the country. And I was born in Key West, Florida. They were pastoring a church there at the time. Mm -hmm. And then they moved to Mississippi to pastor a church. And so I live in Jackson, Mississippi. Wow. My husband and I pastor a powerful church, the Church Triumphant Global. Uh -huh. And um, I'm a mom. So I have two daughters. You have 10? Two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 10 minus eight. Two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, I have two daughters. Wisdom is 17 now wow. and will graduate next year. I can't believe it. She's almost six feet tall. So oh cute gosh. and adorable. Yes. And then I have a, a nine year old. Her name is Wealth. So I have wisdom and wealth in my house. Okay. So I have a 13 year old. <laughs> yeah. Give me some advice. So, um, Turn them over to the Lord early, mm -hmm. and uh, live the life before them that that they can re they can really That's good. imitate. Yeah. That's good. So I I a lot of things I just I can't just stay down because my girls are watching me. Yeah. They're watching to see how I come back from whatever the, the situation is. That's so, so good. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. And uh, so I'm glad to be here. To yeah. Talk and about and it. I want you to talk about your testimony yeah. because you have a powerful yeah. testimony. Yeah. You literally died. I did. Talk about that. So I actually was sitting one day, our church has for all, for years has had a, a very powerful Saturday prayer service. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting in a Saturday prayer one morning and um, I had an open vision. Now I'm a very practical kind of Christian, um, but in this in this instance, God gave me this supernatural experience, and I had an open vision. So I was awake, and it was like a screen that appeared in front of my face. And in this uh, vision, I saw a hand come out of heaven and touch my voice. And when the hand drew back, it was a sword in the hand. And I said, God, what is that? He said, Tanya, that's your voice. I'm going to use that to defeat the works of the enemy in the last days. And I thought. Wow, this is so amazing. Well, shortly after that, I was walking into my master bathroom to get dressed for work. It was the same day that I recorded what became my hit record, Put My Hand in Yours, written by Marvin Winans, and collapsed with cardiac arrest and died. Oh I had never gosh. been sick, never never had any heart issues, just uh, lay there dead. But my husband, the last thing I heard before I was unconscious was my husband praying for me. And he's raised three or four other people from the dead during his ministry, but he prayed his most powerful prayer and the Lord raised me from the dead. Wow. And I went immediately to the Mayo, uh, uh, to the Madison Heart Clinic in the city where I live and then was treated there in Jackson by a heart surgeon, uh, a heart cardiologist, and then eventually went to Jacksonville, Florida and was treated by the Mayo Clinic. It went from being a multimillionaire producing salesperson and recording artist to on permanent disability for almost seven years. Wow. It so happened in the blink of an eye. It happened in the blink of an eye, but what mm -hmm. happened to you mentally because of that? I mean, that's a big shift. That's a big shift. Like, yeah. wait a minute, God, you just told and me I'm something. And I'm independent too. <laughs> you just told me something earlier today. Yeah. And now I'm dealing with this. So you're talking about a girl that called her wedding off because her husband was trying to tell me what to eat. Like we were dating. And I was like, you, he was like, you cannot have this. It's not healthy for you. I said, oh, you got to go. I was so, I was so independent. Um, so you took a, you're talking about a woman that was really independent, really at the top of her game. And um, it, my world went dark. Wow. Um, and um, for me, it was death. For a lot of people, it's divorce mm -hmm. or it's the loss of a child, loss of a job that they love. But in those moments, uh, and this has been proven, anytime there's prolonged illness, um, depression is always inevitable. And so I sunk into a deep, deep depression and was very alone and very isolated for many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
explain that to the person that's watching that's saying, but she's a Christian. What do you mean yeah. you went into a deep, I was deep not depression? O- I was not only a Christian, I was a pastor. Yeah. Pastor in a church and uh, singing and recording worship music. And I was uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. But a lot of times what happens is um, depression often happens when your vision is turned inward Mm. instead of your vision turned outward. And that's what happened to me. I became really consumed. My daily meditation was death. I feared that my child, which was, I only had one at the time, wisdom, I feared that she was going to grow up without a mother. Mm. My husband would sit up all night and watch me sleep to make sure I didn't stop breathing. So I went through this process of knowing that there was a promise, but losing faith during the process. Yeah, right? Wow. Like I was like, God, you showed me this vision. How will I, how will my voice impact the world when I'm bedridden? Yeah. My music was being heard around the world. I had fans in Japan everywhere and I couldn't tour because my body would not operate wow. in the way that it needed to operate. And um, so, yeah, it was. When did it turn? When did, when did things start to turn? Um, this is probably gonna mess with someone's theology. Um, it didn't happen in church for me. Um, I was at home, very, very depressed. I would turn the water on in my shower and stand inside and let the, just so my children couldn't hear me cry. My family couldn't hear me cry and I would plead and ask God to please let me die. And my husband called me into his office one day and he said, I want you to hear something. And it was an interview with Oprah Winfrey and LL Cool J. Mm -hmm. And in this interview, she says something like, so L, what do you do when you have all these things planned for your life and you get to a certain age and it hasn't happened? And he just kind of looked at her and smiled and he said, but dreams don't have deadlines. Mm. And I grabbed my iPhone and I'll never forget it. It was that that one revelation that sparked something in me that got me to journaling. The journal turned into a book called Life Is Your Song, So Discover Your Voice. And I found my healthiest picture. I put it before me, I started meditating. I started, I changed all of my confession. I started really believing that the same power that quickened Jesus when he was in the grave was in me. Wow. And all I had to do was just stir it up. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. my gosh. And everything from there just started to transfer, transform. Oh my gosh. So we're yeah. going to talk about depression in the church now. Yeah. Because your testimony is powerful. So I know you have some, some messages that, that can help some of our viewers. Yeah. Right. So stay with me. Yeah. And you stay with us too. We will be right back for more with Pastor Tanya Ware. Power965radio.com, the new sound of Buffalo, is a proud supporter of the Mercedes Wilson Show. They have a full lineup of unique programs. Find out more about the station's owner, Sheila Brown, in her new book, 29 Years of Preparation, at Power965radio.com. Hello, I'm Stephanie Krebs from Young Living Essential Oils. Do you realize being healthy is more than just diet and exercise? It's what you apply to your body. What products are in your home and your environment? Don't be overwhelmed. I'm here to help you one step at a time. With a company that is based on integrity and passion, Young Living Essential Oils. Call me at 585-708-4020 or my website, myyl.com backslash body sense. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Pastor Tanya Ware has a testimony that the world needs to hear, like I said in the beginning, but we're going to talk about the church now. Yeah. So you have a testimony. Yes. And you're I a do. pastor. So I know you, you, you speak on this stuff, yes, right? I do. Um, how do, how does we, the church deal with depression? Um, in a lot of cases, not very well. I think a lot of times we, we were taught that you just need to pray more mm-hmm. or you need more faith yeah. or you need to come to church more or you need to, there, there was always something as it related to the spirit that we would tell people yeah. when, when they were sad or depressed. And sadness and depression, um, you know, the World Health and, you know, Organization says more than 300 million people deal with depression on a daily basis of all ages, all, you know, backgrounds, people with money, without yeah. money. Yeah. It's, it's really something. But I think what has happened is we have been trained in the spirit in the church, but not necessarily trained in the soul. Mm. So you have the soul, which is the mind, will, emotion, intellect, and the imagination. Mm -hmm. And of course it has to be renewed every day. Yeah. Because if it's not renewed every day, then it will believe certain things. And I think that we have majored on the spirit and not majored on the soul. Oh, that's good. So because we haven't majored on the soul, we have people sitting in our seats and they are bleeding. My husband, who is actually writing a book on how he came through the spirit of suicide, um, he he just he was pastoring, he was ministering, he was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he wanted to take his life because he could not see the future that God had 
told him yeah. he would have. And I think a lot of times we are afraid to tell people this. Sometimes a medicine regimen. Yeah, sometimes, that, yeah. Sometimes meditation. Sometimes there's therapy. Sometimes you need to really talk about the deep issues, mm -hmm. that the trauma that you've experienced to really walk through um, the darkness, the cloud that you're in into the light that God has yeah. for you, right? So what are you saying to the folks that come up to you and say no, mm -hmm. but that's something that God can heal. Yeah. You don't need to take a pill yeah. to help with depression. I, I tell them to, to really go before the Lord and ask him to open the eyes of their understanding. Even in the scriptures, some were healed as they went. There are all these different ways that Jesus healed people in the Bible. And I think a lot of times what happens to churches is that we say that because we don't know the answer. But the answer can be found in so many different resources that have been made available. Our church specifically joined forces with NAMI Mississippi, mm -hmm. the National um, um, Association of Mental Illness. And they have a, they even have an app called Shatter the Silence yeah. that the kids can use, that moms and dads can use when they see a child is really, really depressed mm -hmm. to make sure that mm -hmm. they walk through that without feeling alone. And I think the biggest thing is getting to the root. For me, it, like I said, it was prolonged illness. It was losing hope. Yeah. You know, yeah. and any time yep. hope is lost, depression is inevitable. Yeah. And so I think we have to get back to really, instead of preaching hate and preaching division and preaching you can't do it or you're not good enough, we have to preach hope. Yeah. And give people hope. hope. Yeah. Hope, and encourage hope, hope. them that tomorrow will be better. And if it's not, I'll be here holding your hand. Yeah. Until That's it does so get good. Yeah, it's that so is important. so good. And I do that all the time. I have people call me and they say, but you're a celebrity. Why would you come to see me? And I said, because you matter. Right. Because you matter because right. someone came to see me. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jesus, he, he goes through this. Really, he takes a, do, a detour to see the woman at the well. Yeah. He was not supposed to even go that way. But people matter. Yeah. And I think when the church says more than our theology, more than our protoc protocol and more than the way we normally have church, we don't want anyone in here. Sometimes I stand up at our service and I say, if you're bleeding, if you're hurting, if you're suffering, inside if you feel like you cannot take another step do not leave here until two things happen until we give you a big hug mm -hmm. and, and until we give you some resources to help you make it oh, through. that is so that's good. so important that is so good yeah. now there's something you say mm -hmm. that I love and I would love for you to explain mm -hmm. we should be seeking to be in God's frequency mm -hmm. on God's oh frequency. come on please tell a millennial yeah <laughs> that's right so you know so, it's all about us so right what does that mean right and it and it is we live in a culture where everything is me, 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 mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I. But um, that's rooted in our understanding of Jeremiah 29, 11. God says, I know the plans I have for you. Yeah. And those plans I have for you, they're good plans, not evil plans. And so it, our, our quest should be not how many likes we can get, on Twitter, right. but our quest should be getting into that that place where God is, so that we can hear what the plans are. Yeah. And I do that every yeah. day through prayer, through yeah. meditation, through getting quiet. There are a certain amount of time uh, every day where I shut off all of my social media and I just say, God, what do you want to say to me? Yeah. You know, what am I missing? Is there something that you want me to do that I haven't seen yet? Reveal yourself to me. Yeah. And I think anytime you seek him, you will find him. And we do want to get back to that conversation that he was having with us when we were in spirit form, even before your mom and dad got together. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm looking at you, you're a beautiful person, but even before they got together, God was talking to you. Yeah about yeah. your purpose, your yeah. destiny, your future, your life, your gifts, your talents, mm -hmm. and what you would do in this world. And it's, it's an amazing thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and for some that would seem hard to grasp. Yeah. You know what I mean? For some that would seem hard, hard to grasp. So but, I was there, I was yeah. there in the darkness, very depressed, praying to die. And I was too afraid to talk about it because a pastor, as a pastor, I'm supposed to have all the answers. Yeah. And a lot of times, and there's and, and suicide in the in, in the pastoral ranks is really on the rise. Mm -hmm. You have people that look like they have it all that really don't want to live because yeah. somehow, some way, they've lost hope. But I started with one simple thing. I said, God, reveal yourself to me. That is so good. I just got quiet and I said, Lord, reveal yourself to me. I learned how to pray without having my phone my cell phone sitting right yeah, there. Yeah, I said, yeah. I'm going to really have, even if it's five minutes, if it's 15 minutes, because our lives get busy. On my way to work, I'm going to turn everything off and just say, Lord, will you show me yourself? Yeah. Will you get me back to that conversation so I can live um, like days of heaven on earth? Yeah. yeah. And God is able to use you so richly because of that. So when we come back, I want to talk about everything you yeah. do because you have a lot on your plate. Yeah. Well, um, so when we come back, we're going to talk with Pastor Tanya Ware about all that God is doing in her ministry. You stay with us.
Won't ever let the cold world get the best of me. Keep my head up high like the sunrise. Even though it's hard, I try each and every day. Every time I fall, I get back on my feet. I know that I can make it if I I keep on trying. Hey everybody, this is your girl Mercedes Wilson. You know where from, the Mercedes Wilson Show. And we have a special announcement for you for an event that is coming up. I'm sitting here with my friend Jarrell. Hey Jarrell. Absolutely, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so you got something fun coming up. Simple you have fun. the walls coming. Um, so this is the fourth annual uh, benefit concert. This year, the campus kind of granted me to go off of campus. They gave me a little bit of a bigger budget, a lot of a bigger budget, actually. <laughs> um, and so we nailed down the Walls group, and then we also have some local artists. Mm -hmm, so Lydia mm -hmm, Marie, some great local um, Ja'Kai Calhoun, Kamara Lattimore, and then we have some new additions that I'm not going to name just yet, but uh, folks will find gonna out. Are going to surprise us? We're going to surprise you. December 5th, 7 p.m., fourth annual Christmas benefit concert. Yes. Who's invited, Jarrell? Everyone's invited. Ever since I made my first beat, I knew music was a passion. Along with the beat makers in my company, I get to share my passion. Music is a way to dream, and now I get a chance to make dreams come true. Welcome to Soundmaster Beats. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. True Color Strategy, your CMO for hire, bringing strategic business, brand, and marketing solutions to find your nugget of truth. To learn more, visit www.truecolorstrategy.com. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Pastor Tanya yes, Ware is still with me. I'm so excited. <laughs> now, God uses you mightily. Like you. Is that a word? Mightily. M mightily. Mightily is the right yeah. word, right? Yeah. <laughs> he uses you mightily. Yeah. Let's talk about that because you are on the Billboard charts. Yeah. Talk about it. So I just told the Lord, yes. You know, when I was getting ready to record this album, um, when the Lord spoke to me about it, I, I didn't want to do it, actually. I was grieving the death of my sister who passed just in her 40s with breast cancer, mm. and I was in a, a sad place. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I know God's track record. And yeah. when He asks you to do something, if you're willing and obedient, you can eat the good of the land. It was while I was recording a song I wrote called Jesus Prayed For Me um, that the spirit of grief broke off of me and has never returned. Yeah. But about three weeks, three months ago, I released uh, my, my first worship album in 10 years because the first one, of course, I collapsed with cardiac arrest and was on yeah. disability all those years. And it's called The Signature of God. And I just, I got with the, my brother and another musician and we just really wanted to produce something that we felt God could sign off on. Yeah. So we, we named it The Signature of God. My album uh, is doing really well. The song, uh, the single right now on radio is Waymaker and it's climbing the billboard charts. Yes. And it's just crazy. We, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. It's mm -hmm. been maybe 14 weeks that it's been um, being heard around the world and people are being so empowered by it. Yeah. And I think people are, are really leaning into the music because it is filled with hope. Yeah. And we are in a culture right now where people don't have a lot of hope. Yeah. 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 So I released that, that album about three months ago. Um, and I released a jazz album about three weeks yeah. ago. Okay, so yeah. can we talk about that? Yeah. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. But one of the things that I have seen a lot are local musicians that play at a church Yeah. and get backlash mm -hmm. if they play in a band yeah. outside of the church, yeah. maybe a jazz band or yeah. maybe a blues band. Yeah. And they say, people, leave me alone. I have yeah. to feed my family too. Right, right. Or I just love bl uh, blues music or yeah. jazz music. Can yeah. you speak to that? Yeah, so I, I think a lot of times... Uh, Religion killeth. 
um, but God gives life. And mm. I think of what happened uh, to me was someone heard about my music and I got accepted into a jazz program. Mm -hmm. And it was just God's favor. And I was like, it, you know, I'm a pastor, but I was accepted into a jazz program in Bloomington, Indiana. I actually did worship in a club. Wow. Sure did. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the life of Jesus, he is always in places that the religious of his day felt were, you know, that's too low for you, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. You shouldn't be there. Um, but uh, the darkness needs the light. And I just think that um, God really wants to use whatever he is, whatever expression he has put in you. Mm -hmm. um, if, if it comes out of you, hip hop, if it comes out of you, jazz, blues, soul, that God wants to use that. And I think the biggest thing we can do as musicians is say, Lord, here's the gift. Show me what you want me to do with it yeah. and open the doors you want me to walk through. Yeah. You know you're ruffling a lot of feathers saying that. I'm, I know. I'm bad about that. <laughs> or good about that. <laughs> now let's talk about your book. Yeah. 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 So yeah. when I started coming out of depression, I started journaling. And the name of the book is Life is Your Song, So Discover Your Voice. Mm -hmm. And the, the premise of it is that life has highs and lows. If I were singing something like, um, Our Father which art in heaven, how low it be. So there may be low notes. Yeah. There may be me medium or mid notes or high notes. And life is like that. Yeah. There'll be low places and high places. That's good. So just discover your voice by really leaning and depending on God to tr and trusting Him that he, he knows what's best for you, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, it's, it's a powerful book. It's a short read and it gives you tips on how to get unstuck yeah. and how to really reset your life and live the life that God has called you to live. Where can yeah. folks find your music and your book? Yeah, so you can go to TanyaWare.com and connect with all of my social media sites, the official Tanya Ware. Um, see my speech at the UN. I gave my story at the United Nations in New York and see all the great work that I'm oh, doing. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, TanyaWare.com. And maybe we can play a clip of that. Too That'd be cool. Yeah, 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 I would can love you, that. Can you take a few seconds and speak to the person that may be watching that mm -hmm. says, I struggle with depression? Mm hmm how can I come out? Mm -hmm. So um, I would say to, to anyone that's struggling with depression or any type of illness, because I, I dealt with both, um, the first thing you need to do is believe that things can be different. I lived every day with my meditation being um, uh, on death and, and quitting and stopping and giving up. So I had to change what I was listening to, what I was saying, and what I was thinking about in order to move my life forward. I would say to you, don't give up, that God has something so important for you to do and you matter. And no one else can do it like you can do it. And so we need you here and keep moving forward and find someone. There are so many resources, the mental health departments of your city. Um, your, go to your pastor, go to someone that you trust, that you love and, and ask them to help you walk through this. And I know that God has someone that's going to come across your path to help you walk through the darkness into the light. So awesome. Thank yeah, you, Pastor. I'm so happy to come be here. <laughs> Us too, especially Thank because you. you're in Buffalo and it's snowing and you're I from... I know. Or, I'm from Mississippi and we have to pray like like touch and agree to get like an inch. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> like our kids, they go outside and they make snow snowmen like, like really quick because it's going to melt in about three or four hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, serious. Yeah, we have to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad to be back. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes, ma'am. And we will be back with the Mercedes moment. Won't ever let the cold world get the best of me Keep my head up high like the sunrise Even though it's hard, I try each and every day Every time I fall, I get back on my feet I know that I can make it if I I keep on trying Hey everybody, this is your girl Mercedes Wilson. You know where from, the Mercedes Wilson Show. And we have a special announcement for you for an event that is coming up. I'm sitting here with my friend Jarrell. Hey Jarrell. Absolutely, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Awesome. awesome. Okay, so you got something fun coming up. Semifold. You have the walls coming. Um, so this is the fourth annual uh, benefit concert. This year, the campus kind of granted me to go off of campus. They gave me a little bit of a bigger budget, a lot of a bigger budget, actually. <laughs> um, and so we nailed down the Walls group, and then we also have some local artists. Mm -hmm, so Lydia mm -hmm, Marie, great local um, Ja'Kai Calhoun, Kamara Lattimore, and then we have some new additions that I'm not going to name just yet, but uh, folks will find gonna out. Are going to surprise We're going to surprise you. December 5th, 7 p.m., fourth annual Christmas benefit concert. Yes. Who's invited, Jarrell? Everyone's invited. Ever since I made my first beat, I knew music was a passion. Along with the beat makers in my company, 
I get to share my passion. Music is a way to dream, and now I get a chance to make dreams come true. Welcome to Soundmaster Beats. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. True Color Strategy, your CMO for hire, bringing strategic business, brand, and marketing solutions to find your nugget of truth. To learn more, visit www.truecolorstrategy.com. Wardrobe for the Mercedes Wilson Show was provided by Clothes Mentor in Tonawana, New York. Grade A looks for less. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. I love to hear the testimony of others when they talk about not seeing a way out and God comes through. While we all know that in this life we will be tested, it doesn't make the testing time any easier. One thing that does help, though, is having a relationship with God. The Bible states in Revelation 12, 11, that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimonies. Who is the him in the scripture? The accuser of the brethren, Satan himself. The blood that was shed on the cross will never lose its power. Never. It's the same blood that was shed on the cross by Jesus that allows us to walk in the power, the authority, and healing. It's that same blood that we call on to cover our family and our friends over and over, and even our very own lives. Don't you for one second underestimate the blood. Don't underestimate the words of our testimony either. Man, these professions of our faith carry us through the hard times and encourage those that may be going through some rough times themselves. I have lost count of the amount of times that someone else's profession of their faith has given me strength to keep going. It is a constant reminder of God's power and goodness toward us. So tell your testimony for all to hear. It is a blessing to someone, I promise you. Thank you for allowing me in your homes today, and I pray God's blessing over you and all that you hold dear in your hearts. Learn more about this show. Fill out forms to be a guest and give us your show ideas all at MercedesEWilson.com. Also, follow me on all of the social media handles at Mercedes E. Wilson, and don't forget to check out all of the shows via YouTube and my podcast. Share this show with someone you love, and thank you for tuning into the Mercedes Wilson Show. We will see you all next week. You're amazing. There'll never be another like you.